What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I wanna have a quick chat about David Wiggins Jr. David Wiggins Jr. is one of the most polarizing players in disc golf. He's one of the more fascinating players, and this is because how far this guy can actually throw a disc, and if he can sort of tie together all aspects of his game. He is one of the most talented players, and he is not too old to still come back and make a real run at being a top player. When David Wiggins was doing most of his competing, disc golf wasn't something that everyone could just make a career out of. Um, a lot less players were, you know, being a road warrior and being that guy. But David Wiggins sort of has a chance to make a comeback here, and he's getting a lot of support from the disc golf community. This is what David Wiggins is most known for, his 1108-foot blizzard boss throw. <clears throat> So that is the current distance world record. And before you talk about how windy it is, you can see what it looks like when this guy throws on flat ground. He is one of the most impressive throwers that disc golf has ever seen. In my opinion, he's right up there, right next to Simon as far as distance goes. He's right there next to Eagle and he has the skill set to throw just as far as anybody. Yeah. All right. Dave, show him the 360. Go big. Go, go for the 360. Oh, wow. 360. Go big. He's gonna go for the 360. I'm if you throw this low 100 feet, I'm going to be pissed. Where'd it go? It's going. You're, you're going nice. You're going like 180 feet past mine. And you're good. Nice. Oh, man. I can't far, what baby. Fairway hit on that one. <laughs> what is the coverage Holy. of that? That, I mean, that what this guy's capable of doing is absolutely insane. So we saw him on Brody Smith's channel, which got a, a lot of eyes back on David Wiggins. Um, that was one of the first videos that I saw of sort of his return back to, you know, being in the spotlight a little bit. And then he did a video with Foundation Disc Golf. To my understanding, they are sponsoring him or they have something in the works, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But I know this video was actually a really fun watch. Um, not be like just really because it's just it's fun to watch this guy throw a disc. Watch it. Watch him throw this boss. Uh, yeah. Oh yes. Oh, get out of that. Yes. Get out of that. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be 650. That's so far. <laughs> that's that's so far. Oh my <laughs> god, that's huge. 655. 655. 655. <laughs> No wind, 650. No wind, 650. <laughs> so before you talk trash about the, the windy 1,000-foot throw, he can throw 650 on flat ground with what looks to be little to no wind. Uh, one more funny David Wiggins fact that I thought was pretty cool is in, I believe this was 2004, so we're looking at the, the uh, results for PDGA Junior Worlds in 2004. You can see he actually won by... Uh, pretty much a hundred strokes, which I thought was really funny. So he was talented early on and performing much better than his peers. And he was throwing four and 500 feet when, you know, when he was a young teenager. And this guy has the skill set to come out and, and be a really great player. So we can see a forehand out of him, some putting, a couple more, you know, months to really get back into form and, and playing on the Pro Tour. I would love to see David Wiggins make a full return to the Disc Golf Pro Tour and, and become a staple of the game again. It'd be really fun to see, you know, what exactly is this guy capable of. We know that he can wow us with that crazy distance. He's very comfortable at the 360, even off the tee. Yeah, and I'd love to see a full return out of David Wiggins Jr., but I thought it was funny. I was just, I was, you know, I like poking around Disc Golf history a little bit. And I just thought it was funny to see that, you know, he won by 100 strokes. He's breaking distance world records. He's getting all this momentum. But just disc golf at that point wasn't where it is now. But now that disc golf is where it is now, it's, a, it's more of a career path for a lot of different players. Maybe David Wiggins can make a comeback. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section down below. You're watching Iceberg TV, and take care. Mm -hmm.